Ronnie O'Bannon is locked up here at Metro Corrections, charged with murder and tampering with evidence for the Vibe nightclub shooting. And now, Shively PD says they're investigating O'Bannon in connection to another deadly shooting. If there's information out there that we don't know that someone knows and that arrest makes them feel a certain way about talking to us now, I would, you know, suggest them come forward and, and talk to us. Shively Police Sergeant Patrick Allen has been working the murder of Tori Foray since last August. Police say Foray was shot after a fight inside Exclusive Nightclub. He died from his injuries and another woman was injured. Sergeant Allen named Ronnie O'Bannon as a person of interest in the case. The altercation inside the club was between Forey and O'Bannon. Uh, minutes after in the parking lot uh, is when the shooting occurred. Um, both of those subjects were outside at that time. Um, and that's where, you know, we kind of have a, a blank in information as to what happened after that. O'Bannon, also known as Ronnie Luciano, is the DJ for rapper Jack Harlow. O'Bannon is now behind bars charged with the murder of Casmira Nash. She was shot at Vibes Restaurant and Ultra Lounge Nightclub on River Road on May 1st, just hours before the Kentucky Derby. Allen hopes the arrest of O'Bannon will encourage people to come forward with information in the Forey case. I don't want it to be a situation to where if someone thinks, well, that's probably taken care of because that person is, is locked up now. Allen says he believes people saw what happened outside exclusive nightclub the night of the shooting and they need information to solve the case. Now, like I said, we don't know for sure if that is that if he is the sole actor in this. So we want any information, any witnesses that were outside that saw anything, you know, to get with us and, and talk to us so we can, like I said, try to bring closure to the family. Allen says witness testimony is key in being able to make an arrest. We can't just lock someone up because we feel like that's probably who did it. So, you know, we have to have the evidence and we have to have, you know, enough to where we, if we go to trial, it's going to be a successful prosecution. O'Bannon's bond is set for $500,000. He's next due in court on May 17th. Live in downtown Louisville, Gladys Bautista, WOKY.